and here is the ARM Cortex M7 here at the Atmel. And uh, you have a real board with a real CPU. Yeah, everything is ready for you to uh, evaluate our Cortex M7 Flash MCU. We are offering uh, two different series, some S70 and some E70 series. So it's uh, S70 and E70, what is the difference? So the main difference is coming from the Ethernet and CAN, which is only available on the Cortex, uh, on the some E70 series. So there's the Ethernet part and the one without Ethernet? Yes. So what do people do with the Ethernet? So people are doing many things like uh, IoT Gateway, for example. And uh, we integrate as well high-speed USB. We have up to 2 megabytes of flash, up to uh, 384 kilobytes of S1. And out of the 384 kilobytes of S1, yeah. you can run your code out of the TCM, which can be up to 256 kilobytes of S1. And, uh so this is a high performance Cortex M, the highest that's, performance that's ever. That's the highest, not that's the not highest a high. in the world. That's the highest in the world. So in the world. In the world. So you will not find any other Cortex M running faster than this one. How could you do it so fast? And so uh, what, have, how do you, what? What's the choice you made? So we have made a choice to get a 65 nanometer node to reach the 300 megahertz on the frequency for the core. 65 nanometer nodes, yeah. 300 megahertz. Yeah. Uh, how about power? Is that high power so consumption? Power consumption has been uh, uh, limited for for this uh, for this device. Uh, we uh, have about 200 microamps per megahertz in active mode. That's pretty good, no? Yes, that's pretty good. Impressive for such a such a device. Yes. So how is it compared to previous Cortex M4 stuff? So we uh, have, um, in fact, on, if you compare Cortex M4 to Cortex M7, we yeah. uh, have uh, more than triple the performance level. So in fact, you have uh, three times the Cortex M4 uh, performance in our three times. Three times, exactly. That's a big jump. That's a huge jump. Does that mean all the internet things? All the uh, everything yeah, in the world is just going to get faster now. Yeah, you will have also data processing faster for sure, um, thanks to the DSP instruction set that we have inside. So um, let's let's uh, let's take as an example uh, a printer which has to process the data. Let's take as an example as an audio system with a many channel in parallel that you can process. So that's like quite impressive. Exactly, stuff. that's. Uh, yes, oh, yeah. There's some audio stuff, and uh, how about this? even 3D? No, not yet. That's, not yet? that's more. Uh, that's more for uh, for Cortex A class uh, products. This one is. But a people Cortex can have displays, and they can do that's, that's exactly. graphical stuff. Yeah, you can do graphical stuff. We have uh, more than before. Yeah, because we we have a more powerful device, but the the, the device is not targeting only HMI application. All right, and uh, so how soon is this available? So. Kits are available right now. You will have uh, samples available early March, and mass production is uh, scheduled for June. So everything is set up to start evaluation right now. So this available right now is a yes. price and one hundred and twenty-five dollars. And people can have this, and there's a, this is a uh, perfect one to start developing. Yeah, you have uh, wings for uh, Arduino. You have wings. Uh, shield for Arduino shield uh, capability. You have uh, wings for our Atmel uh, extension uh, boards. You have Ethernet, you have Quad Spy, uh, memory, you have audio in, audio out capability. This is so it's just going to get faster and faster, and then and then what? Uh, is there a limit or no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the limit will be for, uh, uh, for all the internet things, for all the embedded world. You know, what's the limit? Where where does it start? Where does it? For the Cortex M uh, world, the limit will be uh, driven by uh, by the core itself and by the node that you will use. So this one has been uh, um, uh, the Cortex M7 core has been announced to reach higher frequency on the higher node. But we have the highest frequency in the world. So uh, at least today, we are very proud to uh, to, uh, to announce this uh, device. So you have the fastest. You also have the lowest power, the Cortex M0 Plus. We have also Cortex the whole M0 range. Plus, yeah. We, so we have a full range of devices. We even have Cortex A5 products, so on Cortex A class. What do you do with A5? So with A5, we can do... Uh, Running which, Android? Yes, exactly. We can even uh, run uh, uh, um, uh, Windows uh, Windows Compact. We can uh, even run uh, RTOS on, uh, on our Cortex A5 and to, um, to, uh, to uh, several applications such as uh, high-end HMI. But uh, so Atmel is an embedded world expert, right? You don't want to get into 
uh, consumer Cortex A? Other no, stuff? no, no, it's totally the are right. Our Cortex A5 is more dedicated to uh, power sensitive application, and we are not targeting mobile phone or tablets. That's not the purpose of our device. Embedded stuff. Embedded stuff, totally. You're right. 